uh, the stakes the stakes on climate change just simply couldn't be any higher than they are right now. Uh, it is existential. We use that word too easily and we throw it away. But uh, we have a big agenda in front of us on a global basis. And President Biden is deeply committed, totally seized by this issue, as you can tell by this executive order and, and by the other uh, the initiative of getting back into Paris immediately. That's why he rejoined the Paris Agreement so quickly, because he knows it is urgent. He also knows that Paris alone is not enough, uh, not when almost 90 percent of all of the planet's emissions, global emissions, come from outside of U.S. borders. We could go to zero tomorrow, and the problem isn't solved. So that's why today, one week into the job, President Biden will sign this additional executive set of orders to help move us down the road, ensuring that ambitious uh, climate action is global in scope and scale, as well as uh, national here at home. Today, in the order that he will sign that Gina has described to you, uh, he makes climate central to foreign policy planning, to diplomacy, and to national security preparedness. It creates new platforms to coordinate climate action across the federal agencies and departments, sorely needed. And most importantly, it commissions uh, a national intelligence estimate on the security implications of climate change to give all of us an even deeper understanding of the challenge. This is the first time a president has ever done that. And our 17 intelligence agencies are going to come together and assess exactly what the danger, damage, and potential uh, risks are.